welcome to our youtube channel ms economic bites i hope that you all are doing extremely well so without any further delay let's start the video today i will be explaining you about consumer surplus the concept of consumer surplus is a very important concept in economic theory before i start consumer surplus i will suggest you people to watch a previous video on marginal utility so as to understand the concept of consumer surplus briefly you can check out a previous video on marginal utility by clicking the i button the concept of consumer surplus was first of all evolved by alfred marshall marshall defines the consumer surplus in the following words excess of the price which a consumer would be willing to pay rather than go without a thing over that which he actually does pay is the economic measure of this surplus satisfaction it may be called consumer's surplus now let us understand consumer surplus clearly the amount of money which a person is prepared to pay for a good indicates the amount of utility he derives from that good the greater the amount of money he is willing to pay the greater the satisfaction or utility he will obtain from it therefore the marginal utility of a unit of a good determines the price a consumer will be prepared to pay for that unit the total utility which a person will get from a good will be given by the sum of marginal utilities of the units of goods purchased and the total price which he will actually pay is equal to the price per unit multiplied by the number of units purchased so the consumer surplus is given by what a consumer is prepared to pay minus what he actually pays now what a consumer is prepared to pay is nothing but the summation of marginal utility which we know that the summation of marginal utility is nothing but it is equal to the total utility minus the price the per unit of the commodity into the number of units purchased now let us understand the concept of consumer surplus through the tabular representation in the table the units of orange is given there are four units of orange given marginal utility is given and the price is given which is 5 now the concept of consumer surplus is derived from the law of diminishing utility the law of diminishing utility states that as we purchase more units of a good its marginal utility goes on diminishing now look at the table for the first unit of orange the marginal utility is 10 for the second unit of orange the marginal utility is 8 for the third unit it is 5 and for the fourth unit it is 3 so as the consumer goes on consuming more units of orange its marginal utility is gradually decreasing from 10 to 8 to 5 and then to 3 so it is clear that the concept of consumer surplus is derived from the law of diminishing utility now the consumer is in equilibrium when marginal utility becomes equal to the given price now look at the table for the third unit of orange the marginal utility given is 5 and the price is also 5 so at this point the consumer is in equilibrium because price is equal to marginal utility in other words consumer purchases the number of units of a commodity at which marginal utility is equal to price so from the given table we can clearly see that the consumer will purchase 3 units of orange but for the previous units which he purchases the marginal utility he gets is greater than the price he actually pays for them now for the first unit and for the second unit of orange the marginal utility is 10 and 8 which is greater than the price because the price is 5 the consumer is not deriving any extra satisfaction from the third unit of the orange 
since the marginal utility is equal to price. From the table you can observe that after the third unit that is for the fourth unit of orange the marginal utility is less than the price. Now we can calculate consumer surplus with the help of the formula that we have discussed earlier that is consumer surplus is equal to total utility minus number of units purchased into the price. So total utility is 23 as the consumer is purchasing 3 units of orange. So we will by summation of marginal utility we can get total utility that is 10 plus 8 plus 5 gives us 23 which is nothing but the total utility minus number of units purchased. So the number of units purchased is 3 into the price. Price per unit of orange is 5. 3 into 5 is 15. So 23 minus 15 is equal to 8 which is nothing but consumer surplus. Now let us understand consumer surplus through the diagram. In the diagram the OY axis represents price and marginal utility and the OX axis represents quantity. If OP is the price that prevails in the market then the consumer will be in equilibrium when he buys OM units of the commodity since at OM units marginal utility is equal to the given price OP. The nth unit of the commodity does not yield any consumer surplus to the consumer since this is the last unit purchased and for this price paid is equal to the marginal utility. For units before mth marginal utility is greater than the price and therefore these units yield consumer surplus to the consumer. Now in the figure the total utility derived by the consumer from OM units of the commodity will be equal to the area under the marginal utility curve up to point M. That is the total utility of OM units in the figure is equal to ODSM. In other words for OM units of the good the consumer will be prepared to pay the sum equal to rupees ODSM. But given the price OP, the consumer will actually pay for OM units of the good the sum equal to rupees OPSM. It is thus clear that the consumer derives extra utility equal to ODSM minus OPSM which is DPS which is the stated portion of the figure. So DPS is nothing but consumer surplus. Just a friendly reminder that if you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you, stay tuned and keep learning.